directly underwater. They actually had the pier that was up there. It was in 1878 it learned to go out. They had used to store gasoline on it. I don't know why they used gasoline and that, you know, for what, you know, because the boats that time were steamboats, so I don't know. But that's what they did, and it burned to the ground and one man died. He did not, isn't, and is not haunting me. But they built this pier afterwards. <coughs> And they built this pier in memory of the most like this man who found that by the I do not know why the man This is as close as the owner of Pier 22 will let us get to the building. He thinks it will hurt his business. But, oh yeah, there's a few of them. But the funny thing is, is that he is haunted. This building is haunted. And the top part of the um, building is actually private. You have to rent, you know, for private parties and things like that. And we haven't even seen it happening, even when there's no party going on or anything. So the staff comes out and says, you know, music and laughter and people talking and they can have dancing and lights go off. And on. it's not part of the building. It's the music and the music. Oh, that's so. That is, that is considered what we consider the residual haunting. That means it's just like a tape recorder going over and over and over again the same thing. Now, re residual hauntings, you cannot make any communication with They don't even know you're there. They don't see you. Intelligent warnings are what we're going to communicate with those on the wall and that are left at hand. But yeah, we'll look at the, the, the bottom part is actually used where they would bring the women soldiers. So they would bring the women soldiers there and then they would ship them wherever they needed to go. Now, man, you kind of did not keep a record of how many soldiers actually died in the building. But if you go in there and see any of your sensitive, you can actually feel a presence of. Thank you.